step number one differentiate tan x from basic derivative table if you differentiate tan x you are going to get sec squared x hence dy dx is sec squared x you might probably want to choose none however from basic trigonometric identity functions tan squared x plus 1 is equal to sec squared x we are choosing this because the question got tan x in it and the derivative gave us sec squared x i'm going to write tan squared x plus 1 next in step number two instead of writing sec squared x for my dy dx i can replace it now with tan squared x plus 1 which i got from the basic trigonometric identity functions table subsequently if y is equal to tan x then y squared is equal to tan squared x and this is the same as this both are the same in step number three instead of tan x i can now replace it with y hence we are going to have y squared plus one instead of tan squared x plus one which we actually replace sec squared x from the options our answer is a next consider this question given that y is equal to cos x then the second derivative of y minus the first derivative of y squared minus one is step number one differentiate cos x from the basic derivative table when you differentiate cos x you are going to have minus sign x hence the differentiation of cos x will give you minus sign x this is the first derivative next in step number two we are going to find the second derivative next the first derivative got a minus hence this we have a minus next we are going to differentiate sin x from the basic derivative table when you differentiate sin x you are going to get cos x and we are going to have minus cos x next in step number three we are going to consider the given condition next step number three instead of the second derivative of cos x we are now going to have minus cos x and instead of the first derivative of cos x we are going to have minus sin x however there is a squared recall that minus 2 in bracket squared is the same thing as 2 squared is the same thing as 4 hence i can let out and i'm going to write it like this next in step number four i want to make this identical either to make it cos here and cos here or this to be sign and this to be sign to achieve this from basic trigonometric identity functions sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to one hence in step number four instead of sine squared x i will now write one minus cos squared x which we obtained from this identity by making sine squared x the subject hence i've achieved my aim by making all the identity in the function to be cos x next you open up the bracket this minus will multiply this and you have this this minus will multiply this and you get a plus next rearrange the function let cos x be k 
then we can say k squared minus k minus 2. And here we can say let it be equal to 0. And this is quadratic equation. Step number 5. By factorization method of quadratic equation, we got k is equal to minus 1 and k is equal to 2, which is same as saying cos x is equal to minus 1 or cos x is equal to 2. We got minus 1 and 2 and from the options, we got c, which is minus 1. This is calculus. In the next video, we are going to consider differentiation by the first principles. These are recommended video topics in differentiation and also some suggested video topics in integration, including their applications. To solve differentiation and integration problems efficiently, always remember these formulas and notations. including pre-calculus video topics. To locate all these videos, follow the link on the screen. I will see you in the next video.